Once upon a time, there was a filmmaker named Jake Harrow, known for his love of unconventional storytelling. Jake always felt drawn to tales where the bad guys triumphed. He believed it was more realistic and edgy, a fresh take on traditional hero versus villain narratives. So, when he started writing his latest movie, Eclipse of Shadows, he made sure the villain, a ruthless mastermind named Malik, would succeed in defeating the hero and seizing control of the world. In Jake's script, Malakra's brilliance and cunning seemed unbeatable. Every step the hero, a fearless detective named Archie Wolf, took to stop him only brought him closer to failure. Malakra outwitted every move, manipulated everyone, and ultimately caused chaos on an unprecedented scale. Jake loved the idea that Malakra would get away with everything, a symbol of how, in the real world, the bad guys sometimes win. Excited to showcase his dark vision. Jake brought together a talented caster and crew. As the movie neared completion, he started showing early cuts to clothes friends and colleagues. But the reactions weren't what Jake expected. People loved the suspense, the tension, and the action, but something about the ending left them uneasy. One night, Jake was having dinner with his old film school professor, Emily Monroe who had always been his mentor. She praised his creativity and ambition but asked him, Why does Malachar have to win? Jake, defensive, replied, Because that's life. Emily, the bad guys don't always get punished. Sometimes they win, and we have to live with it. Emily smiled softly and said, Maybe. But remember this, no bad deed goes unpunished, regardless of how much or how little the crime was. People need that balance. Jake, even in stories, especially in stories, it's not just about realism it's about hope. That phrase stuck with Jakey and no bad deed goes unpunished. He couldn't shake it off. As he lay awake that night, he started to rethink his story. Was it really satisfying for Malachar to win? Did he want audiences to leave the theater feeling hopeless, as if evil always had the upper hand? The more he thought about it, the more he realized Emily was right. Stories needed consequences even for the villain. The next day, Jake went back to his script. He began reworking the ending. In this new version, after Malachar's apparent victory, subtle cracks in his plan began to show. His arrogance and overconfidence became his undoing. People he had manipulated started to turn against him, and the very crimes he thought he had covered up came back to haunt him. Even the smallest betrayals, the seemingly insignificant wrongdoings, began to snowball. At the last moment, when Malachar was on the verge of total domination, Archie Wolf, the hero Jake had previously written off as a failure, uncovered Malachar's greatest weakness, his inability to foresee that even the darkest attacks leave a trace. With this knowledge, Wolf took down Malachar, not with brute force but with the truth. The villain's empire crumbled, and justice prevailed. Jake finished the new version of Eclipse of Shadows and felt a strange sense of relief. It wasn't just that he had made the hero win it was that the story now had meaning. Malachar wasn't just a symbol of evil triumphing he was a warning and no bad deed goes unpunished, no matter how carefully you plan. When the film premiered, audiences were captivated. They loved the twists and turns, the rise and fall of Malachar, and the ultimate victory of Archer Wolf. The ending resonated deeply. Reminding people that while villains might seem invincible, the consequences of their actions always catch up with them. And Jake, he realized that sometimes, stories needed a glimmer of hope, because in the darkest moments, it's hope that keeps us going.